what is up guys vector designs here with another gimp tutorial and before i get started with today's gimp tutorial i'm for, i'm going to say that i'm sorry for not posting my my uh tutorial on saturday um i got stuck in hurricane sandy as you know has been going around the united states east coast and uh, i didn't have power so i wasn't able to record but uh now i do so let's get started so today's tutorial is going to be on text on two more text effects um, so one is going to be molten, I call molten, which is going to have like molten lava cracks in it. And the second one is going to be a wind blast effect, like that. So uh, let's get started first with the molten one. So I'll hide this and we'll have the text. The, um, the font that I've, I'm using today is Elemental End, right there. So type in. Molten. And uh, f so the first thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to change the color to black. And then we're going to alpha to selection this. We're going to create a new layer. And we're going to select and grow. We're going to grow this by about 10 pixels. Press OK. And there you have it. So next we're going to fill this in with the same black color. Make sure fill hole selection is selected. And you can and make sure you have this stay selected. You're going to create another new layer and you're going to make it a dark red color. Dark red to light red really depends on what you're going for, what look you're going for. But uh, now that you have this, you can deselect it and you can delete the text layer. So now you're going to have two layers. You're going to have the red and you're going to have the black. But the, make sure you have the black on top of the red, like that. And we can get started on the cracks. So the cracks are really simple. All you need to do is take your pen tool and you're going to get really close and you're just going to create cracks. Make sure you don't have any bends like that. You want it to be jagged straight lines. As as I'm doing. It really doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that the lines aren't too thick and they're proportional to each other. And then when you're when you have when you have the selection, just press delete. And you have the red. Now you're going to do this for all of the letters. As you saw in the one before that I did, I only did it on the on the M. That is that was because I didn't take too much time to do it. But uh, when you're doing when you're doing the text effect, you want to do all of the letters. So you're just going to continue doing this, and I'll stop the recording here, and then play it back when I have the full M. Alrighty guys, I'm finished with the cracks, and uh, this is the final product. As I said before, this is just the M. When you do it, you're going to want to do all of the letters. So uh, yeah, so after you do this, you're going to go down to, your, to the layer with the red. And you're going to go to your paintbrush and you're going to select an orangish red color. You don't want it to be too different from the red. Just a little bit of change. I have that. And now you're going to zoom in. And you're going to lower, lower the size of the paintbrush. And you're going to lightly brush different parts to make it orange. You don't want to do the entire thing. But towards the middle is the best, usually. And you don't want to do one whole line like that. You want it to be little bits. Don't worry if you get out of the lines, because we can always fix that up later. Alright, so now that we have that, 
you're going to go back in and you're going to get a, towards a yellow color still keeping that orange but slightly lighter yellow I'm going to lower the opacity of this brush I'll do it around 50 just so that I don't get too harsh of a color And now you start to see what takes the effect of the molten lava. Now I'm done with that. So what I'll do is I'm going to go, I'll do alpha to selection. Whoop. Go to the black and go to alpha to selection. You're going to do select invert. And you're going to press delete on the red layer. Whoops. Have to selection. On second thought, you can just erase it. I will make this harder than it needs to be. Just erase it. Alright. So. Hey, you'll, you'll see that my toolbox came out. Sometimes this happens if you accidentally drag it out. This can easily be fixed by just closing it and going to Windows, Dockable, di Dockable Dialogues, and clicking on Tool Options. And it's back. So now that we have that, you, this is an option. You don't have to do this, but you could go into the black layer. You can go to Layer, Layer Effects, Bevel and Emboss. And set the set the inner bevel depth one size two soften zero. Merge with layer. Click OK. That adds just a little bit of depth to it. And uh, yeah. Now the last thing that you're going to do is you want to create a new layer. And you're gonna go to your brush. And you're going to choose a bright red color. And just just going to trace over these lines. This trick that I'm doing here is the same trick that we used in um, my tutorial, enhancing the final image. And what this is, is it just it's just giving it a glow and a more reddish tone. So you're going to go over each one of these. Again, it doesn't matter if it's not totally on. There we go. And just change it to soft light. Lower the opacity. Ever so slightly. Maybe not slightly, more like 50%. And uh, there you go. It glows. Molten Lava Text Effect. There you have it. Now, all you need to do is just merge the layers together. And you can also add a drop shadow. Drop shadow. Change it to, I'd say about, maybe 15. And change it to a dark red color. Make sure you never take allow resizing. Press OK. There you go. Alright. Next we are going to be doing this wind effect. So. Let me just. Type in wind. And we're going to be taking a bluish color light blue and uh... yeah so the se second step is you're, is you're going to go into google and you're going to find a cloud image i have one open right now just type in clouds in uh... In google images 
Oops. And there you go. Resize it. And uh, what you're going to do is you're going to set this to screen. I'm going to make this smaller. And uh, alpha 2 selection that. Select, invert, and delete. And now you have a clouds around the wind. You can lower the opacity of that. Merge it down. And then the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to duplicate this layer four times. So once, two, before you do that, Alpha to selection this, and you're going to fill it in with a white. Now, duplicate this three more times. One, two, three. Now you have four, and for the two and th the second and third one, or should I say the third and fourth, you're going to rotate that 90 degrees. Rotate this one. Type in 90 and rotate. Also, remember for each one, you want to go to layer and layer to image size. This is an extremely important step. Now, just go to each layer, go to filters, distorts, wind. Set the threshold to either 0 or 1. Doesn't really matter. I like it at 0. Strength, 15. Make sure it's set to wind. And the direction is going to be right. And there you have the first step. Go to the next one. Filters, distorts, wind. And changes to left. Now you're going to do the same thing for the next two. Distorts, wind. Press OK. Filters, distorts, wind. Change the direction. Press OK. Now that you have that, you can merge down the two top ones. Click on that, and then rotate that negative 90 degrees. bring that back and just drag that right behind that and there you have a wind blasted effect so after doing this merge the two bottom ones and now you'll have the two top ones and the left and right you're going to go to the left and right go to your eraser Lower the opacity down to, I'd say, about half. And you're going to erase the lines over here, just so that it has a seamless effect. Next, you're going to go to the top one, and you'll, you'll just do this for the sides. And there you have it. Another thing you can do is go to the wind copy, filters, drop shadow. Change this to 100. And you're going to be using a light blue color, almost white. Press OK. And that looks nice. What I also did was I duplicated this and brought it in front of the wind and lowered the opacity down to about 20. And now it glows. 
So there you have the two effects. Let me just merge this. Molten and wind. Thank you for watching and remember to leave your uh, request down in the description below. Also, what I want you to do in the description is tell me, do you want to see more text effects like this? Uh, I have a lot more that I w I'm willing to share with you guys, but only if you want to see it. So, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.